A 50-foot fireball ripped through a residential area. All of it caught on tape. It is always a huge story. When suddenly, out of nowhere, a house just explodes, sending gigantic flames into the air. It's always big news, but usually it's due to an accidental natural gas leak. Somebody stole the furnace, stole the water heater, left gas venting into the house. But not here in Metro Detroit. Not lately, anyway. No, right here in the Motor City, DTE Energy investigators say they are now dealing with a brand new kind of gas leak. A man-made gas leak created by criminals who are breaking into houses and stealing appliances like stoves and water heaters and then running out of the building, leaving the natural gas pipes wide open. Leaving the natural gas to pour into that house just like water pouring out of a hose. They're breaking off the gas line, they're leaving and venting into the house. And it's predictable. We know what's going to happen after that. You're going to have a house explosion. Now, Michael Lynch, chief security officer for DTE Energy, Police. and the Detroit police. So we got the DPD end of it covered. Are cracking down hard on this growing problem in a unique way. It all starts with Lynch and his crew installing hidden cameras inside target homes all over the city. Then they equip these homes with brand new appliances and place GPS tracking devices inside the appliances. Now, DTE investigators can stream that video live to their computers and capture the entire crime on camera as it's happening. If somebody breaks into the house, we got them on camera and we're watching it live. When they take the appliance, we're tracking it live and we'll follow it wherever it goes. That's exactly how Lynch and members of the Detroit Police Department caught this guy, Robert Hubert. Just watch as this hidden camera video captures Hubert quickly disconnecting a gas stove from the natural gas feed line. Then he makes his way downstairs and steals the water heater as well. And thanks to the GPS units hidden in those appliances, investigators track Hubert straight to his house. Now, armed with search warrants, Detroit police raid the home, discover a stash of stolen property, and place Robert Hubert under arrest. Right away, Hubert is charged with home invasion, a 15-year felony, receiving and concealing stolen property, a five-year felony, and possession of burglary tools. Now, weeks later, convicted, sentenced, and just days away from going to prison, I catch up to Robert Hubert in a parking lot. How many houses would you say you've, you've broken into to do this thing? I don't know, maybe about 50. That many, 50. It's not every day that a guy confesses right there on camera to committing a felony crime. So I continue asking him questions like, how much money can he make? How much for a water heater, for example, would you get? About 100. 100 bucks. How about a furnace? 200. And finally, the most important question point blank, when you take these appliances out of there, do you seal up the gas connection or do you just leave it free for it off? I don't leave no gas on, period. I never left it on. Lynch disputes those claims and says if it is true, it's rare because he says at least once a day, DTE crews are being called to homes where appliance thieves have left the gas lines wide open. Our field people tell me that every single day they get calls where, an in, where a neighbor smells a gas leak and they go out there and every day they find that it's because somebody stole an appliance. Just like this house at 26065 Lee Street in Inkster. This place went up like a fireball and was blown to smithereens on Halloween night just as trick-or-treaters were going door to door. People should be just outraged, outraged that this is going on. At this point, after just two months of investigating this crime, the partnership between Detroit Police, DTE, and the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office has already resulted in the arrests of 10 people. But to stop this crime cold, Lynch says he and his investigators are going to need a lot more help from the public. So if you see someone breaking into a house, please, he says, get on the phone. So we got to start caring about our community. And if you see somebody break into a house, you better be holding your breath because if they're stealing an appliance, there could be, a, there could be an explosion after that, for God's sakes. Wow. It is really incredible. These gas leaks are occurring so regular right now that we got called to one while we were filming this story 
thieves breaking into a house on Piedmont Street, stealing appliances, and they didn't even disconnect the gas line. They just broke it off. In fact, I'm holding it right here in my hand. Mm -hmm. What's the best way to protect your neighborhood from this deadly danger? If you smell gas immediately, call DTE Energy at this phone number, 1-800-477-477. 4747. That's 1 800 477 4747. I'm Bill Spencer, Channel 7 Action News.